<clears throat> well, it's Tuesday, the 27th of April. I was out here hunting with a T-man from Texas. He's already left. He got a little head start on me. He found a perk. And uh, he said he found two or, th two or three weedies. I uh, found three weedies so far. And I just found silver. That number 48 the year, 1936 D. So cool. All right, it's almost dark now, and from about seven inches, I got a high tone, but it was the numbers were reading penny and memorial and all that, and I got a 1943 Mercury dime, my 49th silver of 2010, 1943 D. All right, one more for my 50th. <clears throat> I believe I have my 50th silver dime or 50th silver anyway. Listen to this. Coming up at 45 at 5 inches. Let me dig it up and see. Yes, there it is. Not sure, but I think it's a rosy. It sure looks like a rosy. Yes, it is. I'll clean it up and I'll show you all 50 when I get home. All right, it's the end of the hunt. I'm home. And I found a total of eight memorials. One um, Canadian scent. Two clad dimes and five clad quarters. I like the odds on the, the wheat and the silver today. I got a 1929, 1934, and uh, 1958 D. Barely made that one. And three silvers. 1936 is a D. A 1943, and I don't know, I think that's a D as well. And then this is, I barely made it with that Rosie, a 1964 plane. That's my 50th silver of 2010, and here they all look together. All right, here's my little treasure chest with 50 silver in it. We can see them all. Shadows are covering a few of them. There's my first silver of 2010, 1929 plain mark. That 1891 seated quarter I found. Uh, a few pieces of silver jewelry. The 48th, 49th, and 50th silver of 2010. Okay, good luck on your hunts, and hope you join me again. Thanks for dirt fishing with Dave, the 219er man.